dog, y'all. I'm sorry. I want to go do something. And this thing used his own mind. So, hey, welcome. Day three. Ville Platt. Bull, Bulldogs. Lady Bulldogs. Basketball tournament. Uh, game, uh, game one of the day. First semifinal girls game. The Beauchamp Lady Tigers are in dark. They're the, in blue and orange. Brobridge Lady Tigers are in white, trimmed with red. Brobridge will be the, the home team. Tamir Alexander for Bro Bridge. Block. Foul call on number 10. Journey Crutcher for the Lady Tigers. Madison Flugent. Two, two misses the first shot. Tamir and Tamir Alexander. Tamir, Tamir makes the first one of two. 515 
left in the first period. Six six zero. Grover is leading. Ball, ball tipped out of bounds. Bro Bridge gets possession of the turnover. Kamara <laughs> hits the three, extends the lead to nine. Alexander dumps it off to Alexander. Ball blocked out of bounds. Alexander to Alexander. by Alexander, Alexander. Ball tapped away. Keys are severe. Traveling violation call. Shot rebounded. Troy. Alexander with the runner. Remaining in the first period. Bro Bridge, 16. Bo Shan, 0.
Journey Cruncher gets her first basket of the game. Shot is blocked with body contact from the rear by number. It was number two. Jazz on Plummer. Make both free throws. Winner of this game uh, will meet the winner of the North Central Lady Hurricanes Bill Platt Lady Bulldogs game. Ball tipped out of bounds by Jordan Crutcher. Both hands basketball. Traveling violation call. Substitution by Bo Shen. Pajanae Richard, Richard Richard comes into the game. Tigers lead the Lady Gators. He got wrote that wrote that wrong in the description as well. What happened? Something Not me. Oh, okay. Not I said the blind man.
Both hands get their first or something. First basket of the, of the game. Ball tapped out of bounds. White will retain possession. Ball stolen by T.J. Seaver to Sevier. Sevier. Dana Citizen with the second basket for the Lady Gators. Foul called on the play. Dana Citizen commits the foul. Four, four, second period, 429 remaining before the half. Rebound. 
Too blue.
How you doing? Good to see you again. Yeah. <laughs> Come this way, yeah. Good, good as it can be anyway. You know. If not, why complain? You wanna do an interview? You standing here? I'm always ready for Never turn nothing down. One of one of Bull Bill Platt Bulldog's finest. They do, they do a great job securing this facility, man. They tell jokes. They do a lot, man. Make sure, make sure you're comfortable and happy here in Villepret, I tell you that. Second half underway. Bullshan Gator, Lady Gators at the free throw line. Can't see a jersey number yet, but looks like number three. Yeah. Um, Madison, Cruz. Got to use, got to use a whole body more on the next shot. Hey, there you go. That's how you do it, Madison. Great job. Gators coach, Coach Malone. Seven twenty-four. Bosan Lady Gators thirteen. Bro Bridge Lady Tigers twenty-four. Game one, and I'm sorry. I owe you guys apologize for that. This is the first semifinal game of the day. First semifinal game was played yesterday as Northwest advanced uh, to the semifinal game. This uh, the second one of the day. It's money. How's Janae Richard with the with the corner? Th Short corner jumper. All these guys walking in the way couldn't see it, but you know, it's like what we have to deal with. One day I'm gonna be a big media company and get what I deserve. Another three ball shot long. Uh, 
ball goes out of bounds. My bad on that. Um, shot wide right. Goes out of bounds. Number 20, Michaela Doral, Bro Bridge. Just, uh, Madison Fletcher. Ball shot, shot by Fletcher. Terry. Alexander shoots the three. Offensive foul called again on Doral. Bochan, Basket Alexander. Tyler, Tyler, Tyler. Another steal. Mira Alexander at the line to shoot uh, two free throws. Makes the first one, 419 remaining in the, in the third period. Joining us right now is Jill Platt Bulldog. Son of Sean Roy. Oh, <laughs> Terry and Roy. Come on, man. What's happening with you? How you doing today? I'm doing good. That's what's up, man. Thank you for taking a moment with all the men's sports. You've been watching this girls' game? Yes, sir, yes, sir. Both hands, bro, bridge. I get tongue-tied, man. Uh, trying to keep up with these two names sound like boot. Uh, sound, well, you know, with the same beat. I'm all tongue-tied, man. Trying to say bro, bridge, and both hands, and keep them mixing them up. It's killing my little tongue. Hey, Terry A. Roy with us. Uh, he's a, I think, a three-sport athlete here at 
Bill Platt, man, in his senior season. Um, been, been, a, been a really good, good kid, really good athlete, man, since I met him anyway, and this is my third year knowing him. I think I met him in the sophomore year. Uh, what's up, man? Say hi to the family. Uh, hello, uh, all the best boys fans. What's up? What's up? What's up? Just chilling, man. Um, I, you know, I, I try not to do this. I try not to do this, but I think you are mature enough to handle it. You know, uh, it's, it, 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 in, in respect to basketball, you guys had a really great season um, last year. Didn't end the way that you guys hoped that it would. Having a great coach and coaching staff that you guys have, what y'all do to start rebuilding for the 2019 2020 year? Well, we miss an opening. We finished this year. We want to make it better than last year. So we are working on making that better. Right. What What's one of the favorite things that you that you love about being here at Ville Platte? Being a three-sport athlete, man, senior year, you know, I know that's kind of tough on you guys once each sport comes to its respective end. But what have you loved about being a student out here? Um, I love the fan base, the teachers and the coaches. They push me harder to, uh, they want me to work harder, but they push me to my best. So I pretty much love it. You, you, you have a really great uh, supporting cast and fan base. Um, I, I've seen your dad, you know, bringing you guys across the state, um, bringing you guys to camp, doing his part as a father. You know, how, how much that does that mean to you, having a, your dad as a big influence in your life and getting to share those moments with him? Oh, it's great. Without him, I, I wouldn't be in this position. Oh, tough, 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 tough um, contact there between uh, the Bo Sand player and Bro Briggs player. Alexander is down. I think that's going to be uh, number 12, Tamara. Uh, man, hey, let me ask you something. This is a real life question. Real life question. What has been your favorite sport here in real play? Basketball. <laughs> basketball. So, so you're a basketball guy? Yes, sir. Just play football to have something to do? Yes, sir. Um, yeah, I, 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 hey, hey, we got a guy that loves the camera, man. He came stood right in front of the camera on purpose. The guy came stood right in front of the camera on purpose because he loves... Yeah! <laughs> That's my guy, man. So, uh, what is it that, that was a serious question, man, serious question. What is it about basketball that has sparked your love so much like that? Uh, I have a, a great passion for it. I, watch, I, grew, I grew up watching my brother play, and I see my much love it. So, I see how much he left and hard doing, and it just, So being, being that, I'm going to call you over here in a few minutes, uh, being, being that, being that, um, hey coach, how you doing? Uh, being, being that, I'm sorry everybody keep interrupting your, no, I'm sorry everybody keep interviewing, interrupting your interview, my boy's all good, but, um, look, no, I want you to tell me about, um, look, no, I want you to tell me about, the things that you've done, the sacrifices you made to get to this point, because on the low, you had a really great basketball career, but, but you, a high school basketball career, but you one of these, you know, and you're in a lo list, a long list of Louisiana basketball kids that have been overlooked, 
What what are some of the sacrifices that you made to be greater? Mr. Right. So it was just tough on me. I cried a lot. You cried? And so uh, it made me who I am too. You put right there to feel that too. This is a tough question. This, this is a really tough question, man, and I'm I, I, I don't know I don't know I don't know if I maybe should even have the right to ask you this because it's a really it is a tough question and you know I try not to do that. But what can we expect out of you guys this season, man? Like you got you guys again since I make the deal for Done really well in three years. Um, to it. Well, we put in a win and win this year. We came up soft last year, but we ain't set enough for them. We want more. We ain't trying to bring a championship to our own You know, you guys have a really good squad, man. I, I believe within my heart you guys can go a long yeah. way with y'all. You, you guys are, are one of those teams across the state that have a really great bond. Um, as teammates, and that always goes a long way, man. So, hey, thank you for taking a moment. You know we're gonna do something later where, where I can show show all uh, the world your beautiful face. You know, really fun kid, man. He's happy. He loves basketball. He loves athletics. He loves his deal pack home. Thank you guys um, for listening to me and Mr. Roy, Sean Roy's son. Love his dad, man. His dad, a real cool guy. Um, so, yeah, this is this is this is not Terry and Roy. This is Sean Roy's son. Y'all see him around town. See him out in public. Call him Sean Roy. He don't like that. <laughs> He said, he said, no, sir. So, thank you, Terry, man. Love you, man. Have a great game. We'll top it up later. Bro, Bro Bridge gets another basket. Under one minute in the third period, Bochan Lady Gators 22, Bro Bridge Lady Tigers 34. <laughs> Tamara Alexander, another three. She's had a big game for the Lady Tigers. She's in the passing lane. She's dribble driving. She can do it. She's done it all in this game. This guy here? Yeah. You know, the only one sweating in the building. <laughs> Work hard, man. I'm still sweating from that gumbo I had to eat. Real spice. Real spice. They got all spice in there. Paprika or something. Man, that gumbo was hot. Foul call on the play. You Brad? My man, out the hall, out the hall. Uh, yeah, right here. Right, right, right. <laughs> Joining us right now, my guy. Brad Boyd. He he's six foot one. <laughs> six five, man. I'm playing with <laughs> Six five shooting guard, man. Shooting guard. From ULL. UL, one L. Brad! Man, man it's ULL. From University of Louisiana, man. At Lafayette. 
in Lafayette. At Lafayette. <laughs> <laughs> Faith, let me, let, me, let me do this again, y'all. At the end of the third period, Bro Bridge, 37, Beauchamp, 23. So we're going to do this the right way, y'all. Starting at shooting guard from UL. 6'5", 195, Brad Boy. There you go, there you go. You know, not it. much. You know when I was playing, I couldn't get the 200 pounds. Now that I don't play no more, I can't get back to 200 pounds. <laughs> hey, that, that, that's, that's the way life goes, that's man. That's that, they, 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 that, they said you can equate that to eating good and living good. Exactly. I like to eat good and I like to live good. You there, man. Hey, man. Uh, I'm gonna I'm I'm punch you in the gut real quick, yes, real fast, real early. First year of varsity basketball, you get your first win. How was that feeling after the game? It, it was, it was, uh, you know, I, when I walked into the locker room, I, I kicked all the water bottles, started screaming loud, and all the kids just, hey, they started screaming too, and, and I said, look, enjoy this, man, because it don't get no easier. We sitting over here about to lock up with North Central, defending 1A state champions. Everybody back, great player like Des Derek Tezano and Nikembe. I mean, just all around good players on all their teams, man. So it's going to be a tough task. We, we enjoyed the first win, but we know we're in for a war tonight. And uh, we're ready. We're going to come to battle and, you know, let the chips fall where they may. Hey, man, you know, I know a little bit about you. Uh, we talk a lot. Um, I, I, know, I know some of your philosophies and principles. Tell the people so they'll know a little bit. You know, not much, just a little bit. Well, you know, give, give them a team. Yeah, anybody familiar with watching me play as a player or, you know, knowing what I do as a player, I like to shoot. I like fast-paced game. I like uh, a lot of offensive sets. So we try to mimic that, man. We're going to shoot. I got two kids on my team. I'm begging them to shoot each 10 threes a game. They look at me crazy like, Coach, what? And I'm trying to tell them, shoot the ball, shoot the ball. We got two guys that can really shoot pretty well. And we got to get more shots up, uh, you know, create more possessions, get more shots at the goal. So we're going to play at a fast pace. We know North Central loves to play at a fast pace. And we're going to play at a fast pace um, and, and, and try to keep up. You know, I'm not coming into this game trying to hold the ball or anything like that. I, I want to play our game and, and go against North Central. And, and the reason why we came to this tournament is because we wanted to play good teams. I was either going to play Bill Platt or Bochan or North Central. Happens to be North Central tonight, and, and that's what we wanted. We want to play good teams, win or lose. We're going to use this to get better, to, to, to make, a, make a run at the end of the season. Um, let me see. Let me see if I can get this right now. Colin Fonseca, Dylan Monette, uh, Devin. Well, let me help you out, okay? So it's Callen Fonseca is our shooting guard, okay. and Dylan Monette is our quarterback at our school, okay? Which, but he's playing which, basketball. Well, no, his brother plays for us, Devin Monette. Uh, Devin's a left-handed shooting guard for us. Dylan's a right-handed quarterback for us. Dylan is maybe going to play basketball for us. He is actually a really good basketball player, but he's, he's probably going to get a college scholarship in football as quarterback. Three. Uh, so Dylan is not with us right now. Devin is, and uh, that's my shooters, Devin and Callie, man. They're going to put the ball up from the cheap seats, man, and, and, and hopefully knock them down tonight. All right, number three, number three. Tell me his name. I had a uh, number three is Kavon Nettie, man. Kavon Nettie is one of our point guards, one of our guards on the team. Uh, he's in a little bit of a doghouse right now. Coach been on his butt a lot, man. Been on his butt a lot. Matter of fact, the first game of the season, uh, I made him learn a lesson. I took a freshman who barely I even knew the freshman's name. I got him, put him on the bus with us, brought him to the game, and I started two freshmen to make him understand it's going to be the coach way, and you're going to listen, and you're going to buy into team ball because we all know in the history of basketball, football, any sports. The best teams play team ball. So if you can play team ball, you don't have to have the best talent, the best players. If you play together and play the right way, you're going to have success. So we're trying to teach him that lesson. And, and he's learned it. He's back in the starting lineup tonight. He's going to give it 100%. The kid always plays hard. He's one of the backbone, one of the people that hold it together on our team. And, you know, if he's playing hard and playing well, the team's going to play hard and play well. Right. Matt Fontenot, um, number 21. Um... Uh, Austin Domang, number 22. Matt Fondo is actually number 15, coach. Yeah, I know uh, that. I was uh, trying to think of number 21. Uh, number 21 is uh, is uh, is Ty Wilkerson. But yeah. Ty, is, Ty heard his growing in practice this week. He'll be out for the game today. Ty kind of reminds me of Sunshine from uh, Remember the Titans. <laughs> uh, you know, lefty, can throw it real well. He's actually a big-time baseball player for us at our school. But he can shoot it well. We look forward to getting him back. 
Uh, Matt and Austin are our bruisers, man. Those guys do all the dirty work, man. They try to get the rebounds. They understand to be able to pass the ball to the shooters, set screens, you know. So when you got your role guys buying in, man, you, you, you're bound to have some kind of success. Right. Um, I, 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 I'm going to tell you, like, you know, I like the shooters and all that, but Matt Fontenot and don't tell them this now. Matt Fontenot and Ty Wilkerson are actually two of my favorite players, man. Like you said, those guys are blue-collar guys as undersized post players. They're, they're not afraid to go in there and scrap it out and, and, and fight for a rebound attempt. And yeah. they've done that for you. Yes. How yes. important is it having guys it, like that? It's extremely important, man. It, you know, you know, I had a breakdown the other day at practice, and I told the guys, I pointed at Matt, I pointed at Austin Domingue, I pointed at a couple of our big guys, and I said, you guys will not shoot the ball until you make a layup in the game. You're going to work on getting the ball to our shooters, go rebound and make your layup, then you can shoot a jump shot. You know, and all of them at the same time said, yes, sir, coach. That's what, we go, that's what you want us to do. That's what we're going to do. So they bought in, man. We got role guys that are buying in, and hopefully the shooters are going to carry the team. Got to play good defense, as always. You know that. You can get, get any kind of win in high school sports, you got to play good defense. So uh, it's a very tough task for us tonight, but this is the type of games that we want on our schedule. We want to come to Bill Platt, get into this environment over here. The gym's kind of filling up as we speak right now. Yes. And and, and we want it to be loud. I want this environment. I was at our booth side. This is one of the tournaments we'd always come to. Um, and, you know, and it's just a great environment for basketball here in Bill Platt. Small little gym. They pack it in tight over here. Really loud. Really good atmosphere uh, to play a really good team tonight. You, you know, you guys are in your actual first year. It's, it's what it is. It's 5-8. You're in a very tough district with Nish. Uh, I think... Lafayette High, Como, Como, Acadiana, like Barb, Sulphur. Some really tough competition. Yeah, yeah. But then when you get to the out, outskirts of town, you have a very tough 5A entourage of teams that you guys are trying to get to the to the playoffs and compete against. Have you thought about that? And if so, what teams are you looking forward to having finally having the opportunity to compete against? Well, if you look at our schedule uh, online or whatnot, our schedule is extremely tough. We don't play uh, uh, a full five-day schedule, some five-day teams, but even the teams that are lower in class are really good teams. But going into the district, man, it's going to be extremely tough. Those guys, Coach Russ and Nish, Lafayette High, Como, Acadiana, all well well-seasoned teams, programs. Those coaches have been there for, you know, five, ten years plus. And, 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 and if you, hopefully our goal is to make the playoffs. To make the playoffs, then you're going to play anybody in 5A that makes the playoffs is going to be a tough game. You know, so it's 5A basketball. It's the highest level of Louisiana basketball that you can get to. And, you know, that's what we wanted, you know. I, I, I wanted the school to start off maybe in a 4A level. I could get into the district with my alma mater, STM, and play north side of Carrico like we were when we were in the Opelousas district. Uh, but our, our numbers were just too high. We went straight to 5A, <laughs> and that's what it is, you know. We ran into battle, and, and, and every game is going to be a battle. No, num numbers being high is a good thing, you know. Like, the, the, the more numbers you have, the better quality of athletes that you're supposed to get. You got a timeout by Bosham, full timeout. Uh, 356 remaining in the ball game, 37-27. We're talking with Southside Sharks head ball coach, Brad Boy, well, you know, a guy that has been a very big supporter of off the bench sport. Definitely, definitely. Um, so yeah, he and I have a really great relationship. He's, he's like my cousin that I love. <laughs> like, he'll call me up and just say, man, wake up, get your tail out of the bed, and come down here and let's hang out. Yeah, no doubt. And, and the one thing too, Homer, you know how much, I, how much I really love and care about your son, man. Watching that kid play, you know, that's most of the time I'm calling you to, to talk about your own son and, <laughs> and what he did or how's he playing football right now and is he ready for basketball coming up and, you know, so. Those are all good things. It's hand in hand, man. You've shown Southside so much love over the first couple of years of us having a program and stuff. And you know, I'm not just gonna mess with anybody. You know, I'm gonna mess with people that I know are doing the right things. And, and you are helping out these young kids and all these schools in Louisiana. Get, I mean, you're at the, you're in Bill Platt, Louisiana, right now, going live at a Beauchamp Road Bridge Girls game. 
Nobody else is doing that. You know, nobody else is, is giving kids exposure like off the bench sports is. And it's just a great thing, man. Uh, more people need to get involved and need to help off the bench sports. Uh, whatever it could be, help 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 Mobile with information for games, uh, help Mobile with sponsorships for the for the websites and different things that they, they come across with costs and not. Because all this guy is doing is promoting high school sports in Louisiana, promoting your child, your grandchild, your granddaughter. I mean, so it's it, it, it's nothing but love. It's nothing but good. And and I like I like getting and putting myself alongside of people like yourself that are doing the right thing for kids and trying to promote basketball and sports in Louisiana. Hey man, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you this, man, and this just this just the truth of what it is, man. I'm having so much doggone fun till it doesn't matter where I go. Like, you know, a lot of people see Bo Shan and Bro Bridge. I see ten girls on the court right now giving their level best and competing, and and, and nobody has backed down. You know. Both coaches are coaching. And so again, everybody's having fun, man. Like I said, uh, by, the, by the time it's all said and done, the, the gym is 70% packed right now. By the, by the middle of your game, it's probably gonna be, a, it'll be standing room only. Yes, and, it, and that's what we want. That's what we want. We want this environment. I know we spoke on it a little, bit, a little while ago. We want these environments. Our kids are green to everything. We're green to varsity games. We're green to Big gym block. being packed. I mean, so we want to get these experiences and we want to get them out the way so we can focus in and be comfortable when the, when the real nitty gritty part of the season comes, when you hit that district, I want to be real comfortable in our skin of, of, of playing against tough teams and tough gyms and, and with good crowds, you know? So this is one of the ways that we start off the season doing it. Coming out here to Bill Platt, Coach Tommy Jones is-, is, is, is Offensive foul called against Bro Bridge. I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to No, you're good, you're good, you're good. You're doing two things at once. Look, he's the end of, that's how good Hobart is. You're doing an interview right now, promoting my team, promoting North Central, promoting Bill Plant High School with their tournament. At the same time, live streaming a girls game, you know, so that's just all amazing, you know, all good things. I mess up a little bit sometimes, though. I, I mess up. Well, like they all say, man, players mess up sometimes, too, you know. It happens, <laughs> it happens. It's fun, though, man. It's a lot of fun. Uh, I, I want to thank uh, Coach Tommy Jones and his staff and the girls coach, um, Coach Dot and her staff for having me here. Without them, this wouldn't be possible. Um, I, I think that we got a date set in January to be at Southside. Um, Hey, why don't we do this? Over, why don't we just drop the hat out the bag before we actually really go ahead and promote no, this thing? No. You don't want you don't want to uh, give us a surprise. No. Yet? You want to hold it? Yeah, we got to hold that. All right, all we, the sports. We, we made, hold on to this we made, first for a big announcement. Yeah, we made we we made we made a plan that we was gonna do it on December first. The people just gotta wait, bro. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, also Monday. Monday is the week of Thanksgiving. We'll be at False River at False River River Academy's tournament. Um, December will be at East Ascension, the Spartan Classic. Uh, we'll. Uh, I was just tell you where we're gonna be at Monday, Tuesday, Thanksgiving. We're gonna be at the Thibodeau Tournament, Thanksgiving, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday at Thibodeau High School. Um. So, yeah. Right at two minutes. Brad Boyd is with us. We're just chopping it up. Um, Brad is about to go, though. So, family's sake, by the Coach Boyd, as he got two minutes before he get ready to start this game. Say bye, Coach. Hey, lady, y'all appreciate it. Y'all check us out next game. Wish us luck. Southside versus North Central. That's the Sharks versus the Hurricane. Hey, who wins out of a Shark in a Hurricane? Don't worry, we'll see next. One twenty seven remaining, forty one twenty seven. Robridge lead.
One minute, five seconds. One minute, five seconds. Citizen, I'm sorry. Tierney Durrell was at the line. Mr. Free Throw got a home rebound. Great job by Tierney. Under one minute remaining in the ball game. Hey, we want to shout out to all the teams that are playing football tonight, second round of the LHSAA football playoffs. Again, we want to congratulate all of the teams that just finished playing volleyball and that won state championship. Under 30 seconds remaining. I think you can see the score on the scoreboard right now. Tierney Doral at the line again for Bro Bridge. Sorry about that, y'all. North Central has bought their cheer, uh, cheer squad with them. Coming up next, Southside Sharks, North Central Hurricanes. Gonna be a good one. Stay tuned in. Alexander will run the timeout. That's the final as the Brobridge Lady Tigers advanced with a 41-29 win over the Beauchamp Lady Gators. Game one, up next again, game two, Southside North.